This video has been created by Jonathan Pasmino, Remy Wade, Matthew Morley, and Raymond Tan. Today we will be talking about propaganda and persuasion, focusing on the problem of propaganda in the digital age and how it spreads on social media. Thank you for watching. Let's start it. Propaganda over the years has changed drastically from the old style poster of Uncle Sam when directly pointing at the person looking at the image with a caption that read the phrase, I want you for the US Army. This strong image created an emotional response that swayed many young Americans in 1917 that it was their patriot duty to join. The use of social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. allows people and companies to share messages and opinions to millions of people within seconds. Social media posts are used to express an opinion that may influence a person's attitude or behavior. Unfortunately, it can also be used as propaganda in which non-factual information and opinions are used to change minds and incite specific behaviors. The problem of propaganda in the digital age is that these tools are very powerful and permit non-factual information to be shared, exchanged, and retweeted creating misinformation to a vulnerable society. To continue with this video, we think that propaganda and persuasion are phrases that require descriptions so you can perceive the difference between them. First, let's begin with the concepts and an introduction to persuasion and propaganda. What is persuasion? Persuasion is convincing others to exchange their factor of view, conform to a commitment, purchase a product or service, or take a route of movement. Oral and written persuasive capabilities are valued in the administrative center. Due to the fact that a kind of platform is furnished for the political leaders to talk, they use this platform to have their say through persuasion. Its morals not anything but the use of this platform for their gain. In persuasion, political parties inform people about why they need to vote for his or her celebration in different matters associated with constructive politics. What is propaganda? Propaganda is a style of conversation used to manipulate or have an impact on the opinion of corporations to aid a specific cause or perception. Over the centuries, propaganda has taken the shape of artwork, film speeches, and track, though it is not restricted to these styles of conversation. In other words, in propaganda, the political parties tell human beings why they ought to now not vote for the opposite parties and other topics associated with unfavorable politics. When it comes to the methods, in propaganda a political party makes use of quick paperwork inclusive of TV classified ads, single snapshots, and so on. Now that we know the concepts, we want you to understand the differences between propaganda and persuasion. So, what's the difference between propaganda and persuasion? We have chosen a few differences for your understanding. The use of unethical regulations to gain recognition is what is thought through the time period propaganda. Alternatively, the usage of moral guidelines and a way to publicize their popularity, also to increase their follower base is what is understood by the term persuasion. In politics, persuasion is used to gain votes while propaganda is used to make the opponent lose votes. Another distinction between propaganda and persuasion is the delivery approach. In persuasion, the canvassing party takes greater time and effort to make his factors clear and convincing. In comparison, propaganda stands to all quick forms to reach people. In addition, the extent of honesty is another important distinction between propaganda and persuasion. Extra honesty is seen in persuasion because it does not tell false memories and lies and communicate more about their plans for the future. While a propagandist does no longer hesitate to tell falsehood and blatant lies approximately the alternative celebration which will lessen their recognition. Now let's focus on the main topic. How propaganda spread and affects everyone on social media. First, now propaganda posters were replaced via digital visuals, consisting of the meme, which might be effortlessly produced, mass disseminated, and politically pointed, with the potential to do even more damage to politics and society than propaganda posters did a century ago. Not every change is good. Now that we have social media and technology, fake news is more common too. Fake information may also seem new, but we know that propaganda has been around for hundreds of years, and now the internet is most effective the modern day approach of communication to be abused to spread lies and incorrect information. Propaganda on social media is getting used for controlling public opinion around the world. The 
fundamental difference between the old and the new lies is the difference between participatory and passive styles of statistics consumption. In the virtual age, when humans put up, comment, like, share, and search, we're collaborating in facts processing and understanding formation in a manner we didn't earlier then. We're actors in our own facts consumption, and this represents a diffused however critical shift. In conclusion, the greater of the sectors governments and companies are moving far away from seeking to censor social media and alternatively are turning to another tactic to influence public opinion, setting their own propaganda on the internet. Social media structures such as Facebook and Twitter have been the primary vectors for online disinformation and propaganda. But now we have to include photo sharing application like Instagram, video platform as TikTok, YouTube and encrypted messenger channels such as WhatsApp, Signal and Telegram and even more that are not popular but people who propaganda use. online is a lot extra risky and impactful than it has ever been before. It is now records driven. This means that it's miles focused and it is aware of loads of things about you. It knows what you're interested in. It knows what type of content humans click on and, with that, it has new impact capacity. The ultimate component is its miles geared at once towards algorithms that are designed to capture the sort of content material this is interest grabbing and make bigger it and make it even bigger for human beings. Thank you very much. We hope this video has been good enough to teach you basic and briefly concepts and important information about the problem of propaganda in the digital age and how it spreads on social media.